Hello friends, Tony here. In this video I want to start and work with the states. So for that we need to create first the table for the states and let's open the terminal and here I'm going to say artisan make table and not countries but for the states. So states like this. Okay. Now let's open the VS code and open that. I'm going to open first the countries table and let's copy here. We are going to make some changes and then I'm going to open the states. The states table. Like this and scroll down here. Let's Paste that in. Also, copy the what we have inside the for method and paste it right here. We need to import the low allowed filters, the collection from the illuminate support collection. Also, import the query builder. And let's start and make some changes. For the state, we have the name and the country ID. So I'm going to remove this one. We don't have country code. And for the country ID, we are not going to make search on the ID. So the default sort is going to be the ID. And here we need to change that to say state model. So query builder for the state, default sort is going to be the ID, the allowed source is going to be the ID, the name, and that's it. And the allowed filters is going to be the ID, name, and the country ID. We have the country ID on the states because the country, the state belong to the country. And I'm going to add here the filter because I'm going to filter the states based on the country and now let's scroll down and here we have with global search just for the name because we are not going to search for the id and also either for the country code so remove that the column is going to be the id sortable and the name is going to be sortable i'm going i want to display also the country name so for that let's remove this and let's say the key is going to be country dot name and the label is going to be country like this also we have the action and good now let's open the split So I'm going to open the split documentation and let's go and see on the table. So where is the table here? Table overview also a built-in query because I think here we have, yeah, here we have the select. We can add the select filter and here we have the language code and an array with or here we have an example select filter. The key is going to be language code. In our case, it's going to be the country ID. And let's copy this. Let's scroll down. Yeah, this one is. So I'm going to copy this and come here and paste it after the action. And also, let's remove the table because we have the table. Now, the key is going to be the country ID. <laughs> here we have allowed filters for ID, name and the country ID. For that, I have added here the country ID on the allowed filters because I'm going to make a filter here. The key is country ID. The option is going to be the country and I'm going to use the look method here look the name and the id and i want 
to be an array because it's expecting an array like this. Now the label is going to be country and I'm going to remove this show. Okay, now if I save, I think we are okay. And let's open and create now inside the resources, views, admin. I'm going to create a new folder named states. And inside, I'm going to create a new file, index.blade.php. And let's go also inside the countries index. And I'm going to select old copy and paste it here and say instead of countries, I'm going to say states index. Now the link is going to be admin states create and also here is going to be new state. Then we have a table for states and the cell for action. Also we need to pass here the single state and the link to say admin states edit pass in here the single state so dollar sign state here and this is the edit and this is for the delete and also for the delete we can say delete the state and i think we are okay with the table the last thing is to open the state controller and on the index method now we need the return the view which is admin states index and pass here the states which is states uh, table so we need to import that and say class states class let's make sure you have imported the states table and let's close this, save and close, and let's open now the project. And let's refresh just in case. And now in the state here, we have a state index. There are no items to show right now. We have a button. And as you can see here, we have a filter for the countries. We have a United States and United Kingdom because only two have here. Just So let's create also the GR again, Greece, submit, and now if I go to the state, filter, by country, we have also the Greece, good. Let's work with the, the create a new state. And for that, I'm going to navigate on the form builder, overview here, and I'm going to use the form builder, but instead of uh, something like this, I'm going to create a form class as you can see here now this is a different one and i'm going to do that because i want to show you all the possibility you have with split so let's open the terminal and let's say php artisan make form create state form and also i'm going to do one for the update the state so let's say update state form good and then on the controller we just pass here the return the view users create and the form which is this one okay now let's open the controller and on the create we are going to return and the view admin states create we don't have that we need to create that and then we need to pass the form okay so let's say form which is going to be the create state form class like this save and make sure you have imported the create state form up here Now let's come here and let's save this as a create 
click OK and I'm going to remove the link here. Just leave the state index, but instead of state index, I'm going to say edit state. And here, instead of the table, we need to add the form. So the form is to be like this. And paste it here. All right. We are OK. Now let's see on the browser. If I refresh new state and the route not defined. OK, now we need to go to the create state form. So let's open the create state form. And here we have the action, which is going to be the route admin dot states dot store. The method is going to be post the class we have here. Then we have the fields. The fields is going to be text make for the name. We have name here. And the label is going to be, and I'm going to remove this. We are not using the translate here. It's going to be name. Also, we have the submit make. And we need uh, the select also. So we need the name, but also the select. So be, right now, if I save and let's see on the browser, if I refresh, new state. Yeah, we have only the name. But we need also the select for that. Let's come here and scroll down available fields and search for the select. Maybe at the end because start with S, radio, select. Yeah, here we have the select. And let's copy this. Copy this here and paste it right here, so uh, we don't have options, but instead of options, I'm going to do the same thing we have on the table. So I'm going to use this one, paste it here, import the country, and save. Also, we need to import the select from the splayed form builder. Let's save and let's see now on the browser. If I refresh, yeah, we have the leg country and the United States, United Kingdom and the Greece. Good. Just add some classes here. So we have the class to be and I remove this field because we are in the, on the create space Y4. We need to add padding of 4 and BG to be white and also around it. Let's save and let's come here and refresh. Yeah, now we are okay. Let's start and work with the controller and with the store controller. Now if I go here and on the form builder, if we use the class, form class, we need Also, here we have validation and on the controller, on the store request, we can say data, the request validated, create user form rules. And here we have the validation or something like this, the form validate the request. So let's go on the store method. Here we have the request. We need also to pass here the create form. So in our case is the create state for dollar sign form like this and then we can say dollar sign data to be equal with the form validate the request like this okay now if if you prefer this okay if you want this one you can use this and now we have the data we need to create the state so let's say state 
create and pass in the data here and then we need to return back so for that uh, let's open the country controller and just i want to copy this quick and paste it right here we need to import the split and let's say not country updated but the state created and then return to the route admin states index and before we uh, go and try we need to open the state model because not the state but the state model because here we have an empty state model so we need to say protected fillable which is going to be an array with the name and the country ID and also let's create the method uh, country the relationship and here I'm going to return dollar sign this belong to the country class like this okay save and now let's see on the browser if I come here and refresh let's go to the states first new state and I'm going to say uh, London and choose the United Kingdom as a state as a country sorry and say save and why we don't have the country ID so under create state form we make a form with action and method is going to be post okay and the fields is ah uh, yeah make country we need to say here country id like this so save and let's try again so refresh london and select the united kingdom save and yeah it created and here it is now let's create the New York and select here the United States and one more for the Greece so I'm going to say Athens and select Greece here save good now we can search by name so for example let's search for uh, London yes we can filter by the country if I select Greece only the states from Greece is going to display okay friends that's it about this video I hope you enjoy and if you like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video because it's going to help me to rank on YouTube and help me to create more video all the best friends